Hello, lovely people. I'm just trying to put this in some nice arrangement for you guys. Oh, this is okay. Either way. Um. <laughs> so. So it's already almost dark outside and um, it's 7.40 p.m. today and I wanted to show you what I did um, like yesterday and today um, and if Laura is on I wanted to show you her something too if she likes it so I would like to share it with her. And I am going to make more stuff. So, welcome everybody. Everybody, um, I'm really glad that you um, check this stream. I have no clue how um, what the time is right now, so I don't want you guys and me included uh, that we are late for um, for that other stream that La uh, Laura was talking about. So. Yeah, I don't know when, I think it was yesterday or the day before that, um, was making uh, some stamps. So, I was just gluing this down and embellishing this envelope. And this is the stamp that I made. Um, let me see if you can see it clearly. And I fussy cut it out and... Uh, made the circles as well and I like it because it's not dark so if I use like black archival ink um, it's not the solid shape which I love and I can do whatever I want with the stamps um, and this is actual feather stamp <laughs> um, and on the other side I have this butterfly I just popped it on because uh, I don't know what to do with it but um, yeah I wanted to sh share that and I did uh, I do have a few more of feathers so this was my first take if you can see it and this is my second take and that um, on the envelope is the third one uh, I trace it around with a black um, sharpie so I don't know if you can see the colors well this is more bluish and this is more rainbowy thingy so when I um, did this I was thinking about Laura maybe she's gonna like them uh, but if not you know um, if you can put it somewhere Laura then I am putting into your um, sack so that's up to you and let me just quick, quick, quickly show how I made these stamps um, because I know you guys do a lot of ordering online and stuff like that. So I know you must, like, you have to have some of the things that you can actually do this. Uh, maybe you remember this packaging. Um, when something is a bit fragile, they're going to just wrap this thing in. And um, it's like, it's thicker and it's like bubbly. Uh, it's not solid because um, I have the same thing that it's not so thick but I think it's this is more um, I don't even know how thick this is but it's like two three millimeters let me see three millimeters so I don't know how is that in inches so just I don't know let's say I don't know okay so I made it with this and I like, I can um, write with Sharpie on um, and when you cut it, if you do the indention like with the, with those fun foams, it's not showing. The indentions are not showing, which I very much like. And uh, then I made this. So cut out the shape. I, I, I made a shape on, on this with my Sharpie. 
let's make something, I don't know, let's say a smiley face. I would cut, cut this round shape and made a smiley face. And I would um, cut out with exacto knife too if it's in the middle of the shape. Because this one has um, space in the middle if you can see. And then I just put on the other side, I put um, that tape, double sided tape. And I, I adhere it to cardboard and just make a little flap with um, this little flap so I can hold it. And I ink it up and just put it onto my paper and I made this shape as well and I think it's very nice because it's the it's not solid you can color it in if you want to um, and a butterfly these holes are made with um, we are from memory keepers um, punch so it punches too and uh, let me just make a uh, I'm gonna do pink let's do pink um, I've not seen anybody use this this kind of um, foam. Uh, usually they do like crafting foam and such, so um, that's why I wanted to share that. Because you can get different texture and it does... If this would be like solid black, I wouldn't like it as much as if I can actually color it in. So... Let me just stamp this. And when you stamp it, if you don't go around with the, the Sharpie, it looks, um, for me, it looks too soft, I guess. So I just press it down. I'm just going to do the demonstration. Thank you, Laura. And I, I, I will um, scan some already colored ones so I can pr print them out. Uh, when I uh, don't feel like stamping You can actually see how the the shape is not so um, defined And what I do I just quickly take my um, Somewhere where it is and just trace it around and it makes it so much better um, It's more defined and I think it looks interesting and you can do like um, whatever shape you want it's good for background it's good for you know yeah it's kind of me talking while doing lines not so good um, And you don't actually need to buy any foam, uh, like fun foam for, you know, those fun phones you can actually see on the internet. So, you see how this is so much better now that it's traced? I think it's it, it looks better already. Um, and just color it, color it with coloring pencils, like really, really cheap thingy and nice idea. And I would probably do letters as well. Um for junk journals and um, probably a lot of things um, just trying to find an idea so that was the first thing that I wanted to do and I'm probably gonna make a series um, with embellishing stuff with these stamps probably not sure probably um, and I think I have more this kind of stamps just I don't know where did I put them just give me a sec Oh, I do know where did I look. Um, let me show you. So, and they're really like, you can stack them up and they will not get any indentation at all. So I made some teardrops, you can see here. And a big teardrop. Um, made a swirly. This is really good for a background, really. And made a bee. Or boobies, no boobies. B, it's a B. <laughs> and another swirly. Um, so, yeah, 
that's I, I think it's very nice to actually you can even make borders you know for your um journals make a big size border just put it onto some cardboard and press it and the ink doesn't uh, sips in it basically just standing on the foam so yeah those are all that I made um like these are older, so I don't know when did I do it. But even the cardboard is flimsy. It's not that um, thick at all. So I can still go with um, with my fingers over all the... Through all the shape. So the other thing that I wanted to show you... I'm just going to put this aside. Um, and double stick tape does, does adhere it very well to... The cardboard which I, I thought it's not gonna that it's gonna fall down okay so the other thing it's under my mat I am just trying to see um, yesterday I, I, I upload a uh, little geez my English yesterday I uploaded the how do you make um, those stickers with words and such if you check that out so today, um, like in the morning, 6 a.m., I was thinking what to do, and I was so fed up with me trying to find some um, some words in my envelope where I collect them. So I did this. Um, these are just cutoffs um, from the ones that I already made, because this was A4, or like to fit A4 in, and this was um, A5. So I am going to put this in, in the binder and I wanted to use this just because why not, right? I'm not going to trash them and I decided I am going to, for my purposes, I am going to take, um, wait a second, wait a second, or two. Well, I, I, I took a blue one, but either way. So I am going to take this one that it's a uh, the whole one and I'm gonna just cut here and here and I am going to glue like with my where is it with this thingy glue tape because this is low tech this is not that that um, you have to you have to test if this glue um, is too strong for for the plastic or if it's gluing okay this is very low tech um, it's not gonna fall down like from the sheet, but uh, it's not gonna stay on the sheet. So you rip the sheet, okay? So I decided I'm gonna use this kind of um, thingy to hold all of my words, and I, like I said, I'm gonna just cut here, open here, and down down here, and I am going to use it like a folder. I am going to have this. Um, empty probably so I can see it through but if not if I'm lacking too much um, space then I'm gonna use it this side as well so uh, but I, I will have to open each one whenever I go um, in the binder whenever I um, turn so that's why I decided maybe I should just use one A4 um. but I think um, this makes it so perfect for all the the um, even stick anything basically that you actually cut out um, if you can see it like this it makes it so much so much easier to um, to work with your projects you know I had this let me show you I have this envelope stuck with a lot of words and I didn't like I just can't I can't deal with this it's too much for me um, so I go like without words because um, me doing this or it's it's too much so and then I was just putting all these uh, sweet ones that I made I just put it into this ziplock bag the small ones and it was just there and every time I just took them out and oh uh, it's just too much fuss about that so I decided to go with binding um, option and if I don't want to use that big binder, you can do many things even with this. Let me just show you. Let me get a... Okay, fine. Yeah. This is just a string from the clothing, you know. And what I do... 
because they're not gonna fall out right that's 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 good so they're not gonna go anywhere they're gonna just sit there and wait for you to use them and I what I do is just for for a lot of um, stuff like this I think it's this hole I put the ribbon or something to actually hold this puppy down and um, let's see if this and then let me just make a knot or a something or a something something is usually better and I can uh, take up the knot and put more stuff in if I want to or uh, and the good thing is you can just you can just shuffle you know shuffle if you have problem that whenever you get something uh, whenever you cannot see what's behind you know you can see words under the words um, you can take something and just you know check but I for now I don't have that that much of a problem because I don't have so many words down um, but I think that um, making it like having it organized helps you to actually use your stuff not actually to buy more stuff and whenever I decided now that whenever I'm gonna make these are from tutorial that I make from those um, 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 oh, those notes that I get in the mail um, I don't know if you can see it uh, but I decided whenever I'm gonna make one uh, I'm gonna just put it on so I can see it and use it um, whenever I do a project and this one is in Slovenian just this part smaller part and this is in English and I'm gonna have to separate English and Slovenian so that's for me that's how I decided because you know two languages and um, I, I don't want to send something in Slovenian to somebody from um, America because they will not know what that means and sometimes I think it's just you know it has to be a um, a translation right next to or you know so that is that is another thing and I am going to do um, a tutorial or something uh, how I do this um, kind of um, nice words um, and like I said you can do that with anything you can stick like tack down a little bit any of your shapes and die cuts if you want to you can have it in binder because I, I have no clue how you guys store that um, if you have just one of each right one of each um, but I know that for words this is my solution right now so So let me just read a little bit of chat. So what? Where are we with the chat? Yeah, in full or all messy. That's why. That's why I said if you have time to do that, um, it's even it's good. Because I, I basically what I did when when I print sheet of words, I clip it together. So I always have them together all times. They're like even a pack if I have printed six or seven pages I'm gonna clip them together with um, you know the thing and then I can actually cut stuff out and if I cut it I s again clip it together but for me it's that I have to cut it out and edge it and you know that kind of thing sometimes is just too much for me and I, I, I feel very distressed um, because of that and this because um, I like to make words I, I really do like to make this kind of you know let me show you um, this kind of words okay maybe the glare but you know it's just what I like to do and I like to make embellishments and if I'm not using them then let me let me open this again if I'm not using them then you know So some of those and even the ones that I got in Happy Mail stamped. Um, so yeah, that's about um, the words and all that. Um, so at least one thing I got sorted out <laughs> over a few days. 
Um, I'm thinking what to say. I'm thinking what to say. Okay, I'm just gonna um, check the um, chat because I'm curious. So, guys, guys, what time is right right now? Thank you all for coming. Thank you very much all for coming. And those packs, uh, where the heck is it? Let me find it. Oh, it's here. So this is not finished yet, but these packs are basically, um, when I was making them, um, I want to just to make something for a gift for somebody or you can actually you know make it for your shop or something but basically this this is this is the thing that you can actually give it away like a um, um, gift you know and for crafters I think this is very good very very good thing thank you Laura <laughs> Uh, I'm just trying to see if there is anything like I forgot to mention, but I think I pretty much um, even even I was thinking I am putting this washi tape that I got um, on the mail. Um, sometimes I just put it off the mail and I just stick it, you know, whenever, wherever I can. And I kind of hate that, but I still do it because, you know, um, let me open this. Let me open this. I have, I hope I have that much time that it's not already two or however time it's supposed to be so somebody else can get live. I'm going to take, where is it? Made a little uh, hole so I can open this. I'll try with this. Yeah, I'll have to be careful. I don't know if I can do that. Nope. We'll have to do it with scissors, so... Just to nick it a little bit. Um, so, I wanted to say I'm gonna put even the short pieces of washi into this kind of um, style binding thingy. I don't know how to say that. But I think you know what I mean. So something like this. Because this is still a word for me. And sometimes I do use uh, words from washi tape to actually make um, the word embellishment. So you can see. And it's protected, which I like. And um, it's going to just wait here. It's not going to be all over, all over my place because I tend to put, you know... Um, I tend to put them on everything whenever I can because I, I want to use them but it's not it's not the right time right <laughs> so until uh, 4 so we have plenty of time oh so we do have a lot of time yet well maybe I should just uh, I don't know um, show you something else how I do I don't know stamps or something I don't know Thank you, hon. Thank you. Well, I hope you guys try this this um, binding thing out just because, um, you know, if it's easier for me, probably for somebody else it's going to be easier as well. That's how I think about this. And um, whenever you're going to make some, you know, just pop them in. Um, and... Even when <laughs> I just got this idea, if you want to make something like that, just open your stash, stash and just put them in, um, you know, and you can share it. You don't need to actually put it into a baggie or something. Ugh, that makes me just, you know, it's it's not something that I'm going to use. I know that for sure. So I'll, I'll have to do something like this. Well, Susan, I hope you try it. It's it's just, you know, 
so we can use what we actually have. That's actually my perspective here, to always use what, what we can. Um, and uh, having, you know, organized space and not actually think about stuff, what you have to do actually to start doing, I don't know, these this, um, clothing tags, or altered clothing tags, you know, because that, 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 that's the only thing that I, that I try to say. Um, so maybe I should, I know that there's a lot of washes that have words on and I try to not buy those. So in the future I'll probably will, but just something that I can actually really use up. Um, you know, Happy Easter. I would use that. I would buy that, but I couldn't find that. But, um, yeah. And, uh, there is place for sticky notes in here as well. If you want to put, if you have, I don't know, few st sticky notes, you can still put it into this method binder. Um, so maybe I should show you a, um, because I know I'm going to trim this video, so it could actually be a really nice thing for um, people that are going to be watching this replay. Um, you know, so I'm not so over the place and reading the chat and, you know. Um, but I was thinking I should probably try to do some... Uh, let me see. I do some stamps, though. I was thinking about st making making stamps... Like, you know, faux stamps and such. Let me see what I have here. Ooh, I have another thing to tell you guys. You know the time that I was all crazy about those, um... Because I know I have them here somewhere. About this, um, feathers? Do you remember that? So... I didn't try that yet, but I guess I will some in a few seconds. Um, I I I've seen that all those um, how do you call it? Uh, soups. You know those those packets of of soups, a soup that you actually get like it's um um. How, how can I call it? I don't even know how to say it. You. Oh, so cubes of, of soup. You probably have that in, in uh, your your country as well, I think. And on that one... Not, not that much. <laughs> Come on. Um, and... And I just put that um, shiny little thingy because you, you you can probably put a um, cellophane thingy from um, candy and stuff on too, on the paper. So I just, I think I used a glue stick. And I wanted to die cut that as well. Um, but I am not sure that my feather thingies uh, can be gold because I think my... I think it's not going to cut, because it doesn't cut paper at all. So, we can just quickly try that out. And I am not bothered that it actually says Knorr on, on the thingy. It says Knorr, whatever that's supposed to mean. I think it's just a brand or something. It's a brand. Yeah, it's a brand. My boyfriend said it's a brand. So, it's a brand. So, I'm going to try this if... Maybe I should just back it up with something else because it's not so, it's very um, light. That's why I put it on, on more uh, sturdy paper. So, just gonna try it out. Probably it's gonna fail or probably not. I don't know. But, but I wanted to try it with you either, uh, anyway. So, this is my craft buddy, like cheap stuff that I got on. Um, cheap $20 cheap <laughs> that I got on uh, Aliexpress and better this than nothing so I am uh, kinda kinda sorta <laughs> um, I am trying to do it again um, 
just oh look at that oh yeah baby almost let me pop this baby out. oh I can it's just so you can see you see the difference can you see it hope it focus can you see that difference focus man focus it has different textures it, it's different it's different and I like it as well uh, gold um, feather let me pop all um, others out as well I don't think it's this is this would cut if I wouldn't put another piece of um, paper underneath and there are like that paper just stays there it's like glued on even though it's not look so you can use something that you can actually stick on the paper that it adheres and you can use up stuff right maybe I can pop this thingies out I had a thing and it's here oh yeah it goes nicely out Oh, I should I should probably read the comments and I try not to bend them because um, sometimes with the milk carton that I had um, or juice box if you have those um, I could see the, the the bending thingies I don't know how to say it just I don't know but I hope you know what I mean Oh, and now I can see I can actually pop that backing away. Oh man, even that, even that, I like even that. It's too bad that I popped them out, but... Oh, sorry, sorry I was not in frame. Sorry, sorry guys. Focus. Can you see it? Because it was stuck on the, on on the second thing, second paper that I put on, and I think it gorgeous looks gorgeous to me. Um, it looks so delicate, like it's those you know gold leaf, um, you know those thingies. I don't know how to say that. Um, but um, well, that was the other idea, so that's why I was actually keeping this um, foil, um, gold foil for so long because I think it's like from two months ago that I was cooking with this so it's a lot of time maybe I can do another one here let's see if I can squeeze a little one here I'm gonna just run like this Please guys just try it and just let me know even if I'm in in Laura's uh, channel just let me know if that works for you or you have problem with it or you know you need you need some pushing with with something so you know just just I'm wondering if I can actually find a um, that aluminium from the uh, candy so I would actually put the put it on paper and cut it out uh, like we had reds and blues and all that shimmery stuff oh my god I would really love to see that I'll try to separate these two I don't know if I'm in frame but I'll try to separate if I can do that but I don't know I don't know if it's gonna let me because I wanna I wanna leave those the, um, the pieces inside I want to leave them in. Either way, it's beautiful. I'm not going to fuss right now, so let, let's just go with that. And the... Uh, because um, I, 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 I know people are using those um, heat um, foil thingy, and I don't have uh, foil, uh, like any kind, any sort of that, or embossing powder. Never tried it. Hope I will someday in the future. Uh, but till then, I'm just stuck with what I have, right? And I really want to show you these ideas to you so you can get um, 
you know, your juices flowing. Maybe you're going to find something new or, um, you know, stuff like that. Easter foil candy. Yeah, or that, that, that too. That too. That could be very, very nice. Um, if you can stick, like, if you can glue it on the paper, if, if... You know, you, you say um, Fabri-Tac. I don't know if Fabri-Tac is going to glue that, but we have this Yoohoo Extra glue that I just got a few days ago. And it says gel, which I don't know what that even means. I didn't try it, but I hope if I'm going to have a chance to actually smell and touch and um, smell uh, the Fabri-Tac that I'm going to... Um, that I can make some conclusion if they're the same or they're not the same. And this actually glues fabric, um, glass and plastic. I think some of the plastic, uh, wood and stuff. So, you know, it's flammable. So what? Um, and it's made in Germany. So, uh, I think Fabri-Tac is probably um, American brand or made in America. Again, me with <laughs> Fabri-Tac, <laughs> you know. Uh, just sub you. Um, thank you, Patricia. Thank you very much. Yeah, AliExpress. Um, I think. I mean, I know those cuddle bugs or whatever you call them, guys. Um, all the brands and stuff. They're they're really expensive, and this is just tape. Um, so I can. Uh, have the tape if I need to glue the sense um, the die cut down. So this was like twenty bucks um, with shipping with everything, just twenty bucks, and um, I think it's damn worth to actually have something like that. Uh, and you can get a lot of dies on AliExpress as well. Um, they're cheap. This is this is the only die, but I think this I got on eBay. Um, the is not cutting paper very good but it's the only die from I don't know how many dies that, that I have and the other thing you have to be careful about is you know when you're buying dies that your die is gonna fit these um, dimensions because this is like oh my ruler this is like three three inch by um, six almost six and a half but you know it's just the width the width is the problem if it's longer, you can do it multiple times, um, but the width is the problem here. But I still think you can use smaller dies. Uh, I, I I bought this die that makes a stamp because I'm crazy on, you know, about stamps. And um, this just just fits, you know. It can cut, and this is like cardboard style. Um, not sure when I'm going to use this yet. I don't know, it's sitting on my shelf for probably three months already and uh, I just wanted to show you that you can cut bigger stuff out just as much space you can actually have on your plates. And this is very much, I don't know, it's probably like six months I guess that I have this and it's nothing, it's it's very left, that's all that I can say. Um, Yeah, if you can get that that kind of deal in the thrift store, then, you know, go for that. That's that's even a better thing than actually having something uh, for 20 bucks. And uh, I can, I mean, here in Slovenia, they're very expensive if I want to buy in local shops. So that's why I ordered this small one. Um, the price are very high and I couldn't get anything in our thrift store stores. Um, those things just disappear before they even get on the shelf. So, you know. I do have a heat, heat tool. It's my... Yeah. Let me see. It's my Black & Decker. And I've seen a good reviews on it on the internet and I got this. Um, so, it's very hot. Two settings of hot. And I love this hot. It's good hot and actually has the thing that I can actually set it like this and I usually do that all the time um so what should I do with this was was there a question following um after I answer this let me see 
Yeah, Knorr rappers. Oh wow, I'm so I'm so um behind the chat. You guys have Knorr as well? Erin from where are you? Um, I, for now, I didn't do much, a lot of research, but I don't think that I can find actually a, uh, this kind of size of embossing folders. Um, I checked on AliExpress, I don't know, six months ago, I guess, and I couldn't find any, any, like, so I can fit inside of this, you know, um, because I, I was thinking maybe I could do a rectangle this, this big. Um, yeah, so there was a no no, and I know you can get actually that plate for um silicone thingy plate that you can actually put a die on and it embosses your thingy um but i didn't didn't think that's something that I do need right now um Let me see if there is anything else. Okay, I answered that. Um, never heard of. Um, if there is any question. Um, this this baby, yeah. Um, it still moves, I think, but not not so much on this craft um thingy um, self healing mat. It's much more sturdier when I when I do this, but I think you still yeah. Even if you want to set it on the table and and you know put the the stuff in, so yeah. Could be probably be difficult with just one hand. I am trying to get an electric one, like probably in twenty twenty two. It's gonna happen for me. Oh, my heat tool was like twenty, twenty-three bucks. Nothing, not not more. So, still a price range. It's 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 good. It's it's not that bad. I would put same money for a new hair dryer. And the thing that I love with with heating tool is um, it doesn't blow. It doesn't blow everywhere because I had to like catch stuff. Um, it was just everywhere under my table all the time, and the heat tool just heats the thing. It does blow, but not as much as as the hair dryer. Um, but if you do not have the problem with that, then it's all good. You don't need to get it, right? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Um, okay, I'm gonna just put this back in the box and think if... Uh, um, how much time do I have, Laura? When is she, um, uh, Kegfish, going online uh, live, I should say? Let me just put this baby in. She's not going online, like live. Why am I saying online? I don't know. So maybe, maybe if I do, and I bought another plate just in case, because eventually I'll probably have to ch um, change the that one that came with the machine. So. So if that's so that I have a lot of time, should I should I make another? Um, should I just finish this video and edit it whenever I'll have time and just make another one and just do craft with me style thingy? Please, hands up, hands down. You can set, just set, honey. Just said. Um, just give me a second. Uh, I have to. 
okay, please do lay down and, and please breathe and, and recharge your battery. Uh, my, 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 just give me a sec. Okay, oops. Okay, oops. Okay, oops. Okay, oops. Okay, oops. Thank you very much. Um, so, bye, Angie. Please take care. Please take care. Um, yeah, she should do that because it's no fun to actually, um, have no energy and do stuff. So, okay, guys. Um, nobody said anything, I think, except Laura. Um, I am going to um, finish this stream and open a new one, um, new life, and we're just gonna go, you know. Um, I do want to show you my um, project journal, junk journal thingy. Um, if anybody is interesting in that, uh, interested in that, um, it's like rainbowy, ah, maybe a rainbowy themed. I don't know. It's just paper, you know. So I'll finish this one. Very, very. Um, I'm very glad that you guys stayed and um, checked my, uh, you know, this life. And uh, yeah, see you in the next um, life, right? In two seconds. Thank you, guys. Love to all.